Hello princesses, today I'm going to be talking about the Misha Imperfect Blanc BB Cream. I picked this up because it was really cheap at Beauty Box Korea and I thought I would like to give it a go. I've previously loved Misha's BB Creams and one of the Misha BB Creams, I think it was the, I think it was the Perfect BB Cream, was the, no it was the, the Signature Complete BB Cream and like that burgundy red packaging was the first ever KBD product that I ever tried. <laughs> I found it in a Watson's in Taipei and I was like, this is a very similar color to my skin tone or at least it looked better on my skin than any of the other Western brands did at that time, which was like a decade, maybe a little less. It was a long time ago and I've been using Korean products ever since. So for this review, we're going to have a product description, packaging, swatches and application, longevity, and final thoughts. So if you'd like to skip to any points, please do so now. So for this one, the product description says, this BB cream is fortified with patented Blanc Complex to brighten complexion, even skin tone, and diminished freckles and dark spots. Infused PHA from honey exfoliates dead skin cells and reduces appearance of wrinkles. SPF 50 PA++ sun protection. So the packaging of this product is really pretty. It comes in a white tube and it has a pump top. I feel like the pump top is a really great method for delivering the product. However, I do find that, mm, I don't know if mine is like faulty or anything, but I actually have to physically squeeze this tube as well to get the product to actually pump out because otherwise it just pumps air out. Um, so it's not that easy because like you either need two hands to squeeze and pump or you need to squeeze and pump at the same time. Um, but other than that, there's nothing wrong with it. I picked up the shade 21 Vanilla, which was the lightest warm toned shade. I believe that there are four colors in the BB cream, which is more than the usual shade range would be, but still could be larger. And this is the second lightest color. They have a lighter one called 19, which is called Rosy. However, it looked quite pink toned. My skin is definitely more warm, definitely more yellow toned. So I went with the warmer yellow one that was slightly darker. So I'm gonna be applying the BB cream with a cushion puff because that is my favorite way to apply it. I did think that the shade was gonna be quite off because that looks quite orange to me, but actually when it's blended in, it looks totally fine. It does have quite light coverage as well, so I think that even though the color isn't particularly perfect, it still works out pretty well because it's not, you know, that obvious on the skin anyway. It does have a bit of a scent to it, but I can't really tell what it is. It kind of just smells a little bit like skincare, nothing super artificial, and it's not very strong. It takes like very little effort. I could probably use my fingers <laughs> to blend it in. And that is how it looks. So this is the side with the BB cream and this is the side without. So you can definitely see that there's a bit of redness and scarring. And then on this side, the skin looks a little bit more smoothed over, but you can still see a lot of the scarring and I will zoom in after I do the rest of my face as well. So I'm just gonna apply the rest of it on this side. And that is the full application. It looks really nice from a distance. I think that my skin looks glowy without being too extreme. Like it doesn't look oily because it is summer at the moment and I don't want my skin to be super, super shiny. And I think that it really evens out the skin tone and it actually does a pretty good job matching. I don't think that it's too far off whatsoever. And now I will zoom you in to see the smaller details. So on my forehead, I have a bit of texture. You can see a little bit of that, but otherwise it looks pretty smooth. I have my little rinds there and they don't look any worse. I don't think that they look any better. That's pretty much just what they look like. You can see them right there and there. Um, but yep, they're not made worse at all. Around the eyes and the nose are looking pretty good as well. You can definitely still see some of the freckles on top of my nose, so the coverage is very sheer. And when we smile for the smile lines, it's really nice. So very few extra lines coming up there. And then around the chin, you can see some scars. I am getting a bit more acne around my chin at the moment because masks. Um, and you can see some residual scars on my cheeks as well. That is a birthmark. It's not gonna be covered by anything aside from multiple layers of a high coverage concealer. So that is that, but you can still see all of those little scars. So I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and I'm actually gonna show you the wear test from yesterday because it is the middle of the day today, but yesterday it was too early to talk on camera. So split the difference between the two days. Okay, so the BB cream has been on for six hours now. Um, I have also been out shopping for it wasn't like two hours, so I've had two masks on as well. And this is how we are looking at the moment. From a distance, it looks pretty good, actually. I think it looks really nice. Okay, so up close, you can see we have a little bit of a glasses mark. And you can see like a little bit of striping on my nose from taking the mask on and off. So there's a little wear on the tip. 
but because there wasn't much coverage anyway, it's not that bad at all. I can't really see anywhere on the sides of the cheek, which is really nice. That side. And very little wear on the chin too, which is really great. So I'll be wearing it for a few more hours today and then I will do a final check-in later on tonight. Okay, so this is how the BB cream is holding up at the end of the day. It has been a little over 10 hours, so it's a good day's wear for me. I think that in general my skin is looking a little bit oily, like it's very shiny. It is the middle of summer at the moment in New Zealand, when I'm filming this at least. So it's not unusual for my skin to be shiny, um, especially on my forehead at the moment because I obviously also have the fringe. So I think that it gets like a little bit more oily there. But it's not like dissolving or anything, you know, like it's shiny, but you can't see it like losing too much coverage anywhere. There's the glasses marks and a little bit of the um, mask marks on my nose as well still. But I think that it looks pretty good. Like I'm pretty satisfied with how this looks for 10 hours. And when I take the makeup off, my skin always feels so nice as well. So yeah, that is just over 10 hours with. So I am wearing the BB cream at the moment and I've actually been really liking this for a really specific reason because um, it doesn't seem to rub off as much under a mask as the other products do. Maybe because it has less coverage to start with but I can definitely feel like my skin looks better during the day using this BB cream than with anything else that I have at the moment aside from my new true love which is the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint which is again a really lightweight coverage so I feel like when I'm wearing a mask I'm better to use lightweight products for the best results for me personally so both of these products work really well for me. I have been trying out a tester of one of the new NARS products, well it's new in New Zealand, new to me, um, and that worked horribly under a mask. It was like you could see all the dents in my face, there was like full coverage, no coverage, it was really bad. I think that for this BB cream the application is super easy, even though the colour didn't look like it was going to be a great match for me, I think that because it has such a sheer coverage it actually ended up looking pretty good and I was pretty happy with it and I have been wearing it for a few weeks now. For me personally it doesn't have that much coverage but I don't necessarily want that much coverage. I do have quite a few scars and other little things on my face and little flaws. I don't really care about them. I don't care if people see them. I would rather sacrifice the coverage for um, the way that it wears throughout the day. <laughs> Especially at this time in life where I have to wear a mask for work. I actually have to wear two masks for work at the moment because I don't have access to the regulated masks so I need to wear a triple layer. So um, it is rough. And it's the middle of summer. Well, it's not the middle of summer, it's the end of summer in New Zealand, but it's hot. It's really hot. And this has been withstanding the mask use and the sweating that my face has been going through <laughs> in this heat. So I am a huge fan of it at the moment. It also does make my skin feel pretty nice when I take my makeup off in the evening as well. It does have PHA in it, so I feel like it is mildly exfoliating, but not to the point where I couldn't wear it every day. It's just very, very gentle, but my skin does feel delightful when I take it off. Again, really similar to the earlier Skin Serum, which also makes my skin feel delightful. One of these is significantly cheaper though. This is significantly cheaper than the earlier is by like a long shot. So I absolutely adore this. I would recommend this for anyone who is looking for a BB cream with really beautiful light coverage. As long as you fit into those four shades, you'll be fine. But because the coverage is so light anyway, if you're not exactly on the money with the shades, it doesn't matter too much. However, for people who have deeper complexions, this is going to be difficult because the fourth shade, which is supposed to be the darkest, is not that dark. And I am in shade number two. So... But aside from that, I truly love the product. So thank you guys so much for watching this review, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! -bye.